Welcome to the Social Stack, your go-to channel for everything marketing based in technology for your real estate business. I'm Amy Stack, and today I'm going to go over a Keller Williams Command website tutorial for you. Once you have your review page set up on your website, I'm going to show you how to load in any testimonies that you've already received in other platforms. Before I go ahead and do that, if you are interested in learning more things like this for your business, go ahead and hit subscribe and you'll be sure to get the alerts for any new videos. Okay, so I'm on the website that I want to add the testimonies to, and this is exactly how your clients and consumers will be able to leave you a review as well. So I'm just clicking on the drop down here and I've already created the Leave a Review page, you can go ahead and click the card if you want to see how to build this page. So here we have Leave a Review. And you can see that's loaded in there. And I have some reviews in an email. So I'm going to go ahead and just start copying and pasting some of that information over. You can see everything here with the red asterisk is required, so you'll have to make sure to put that information in there if you were manually entering um, previous testimonies. So I'm just gonna copy this testimony here. I'm copying the whole thing right into the review box so I can see everything. I can see that Barb N is the person that left the review. We're just gonna put Barb N up here. And then we don't have a full address. However, we do have Glen Ellen and the year that they did the purchase. So we're just gonna put Glen Ellen, Illinois. You can see my computer auto-filled some in there. And if you have the year that they became a client, go ahead and put that in there. If you just have the year that they purchased, if they've done multiple purchases, you can put um, their most recent purchase date with you in there as well. And we're going to assume that anybody that has left you a review in the past is giving you five stars, unless you know otherwise. So I'm going to go ahead and mark five stars from Barb. And here is the review. I started with copying and pasting that in there. Yes, we would of course recommend you. They'll be able to hit the preview and you can see here exactly what will go out on your website once it's approved by you. If they want to go back and edit, they can. We can go ahead and hit submit and now the testimony has been submitted for you to go review on the back end. So that's how you add a testimony to your page once you've already created the Leave a Review page. I'm also going to add a, a video link. You can click on the card to see this one to see how you will make the reviews that you've received live on your website. So on your drop down, we'll have an option in here. Right here, ours says, what our clients say. And this one's gonna be blank today. So you see there's nothing in here right now. We're gonna go ahead and load that testimony into this page. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. If you wanna see how to get them to appear, click the card and you can check that out for our next tutorial. Thanks so much for coming to visit today. I hope you learned something great and I will see you later to load in your testimonies to the consumer side of your website.